The Japan Meteorological Agency global average surface temperature data for November 2023 have been posted. And as we expected, this past November was the warmest in their data set, which began in 1891. The JMA data agrees well with global average temperature data from other sources, including the National Oceanographic and Atmospheric Administration, the Copernicus Climate Change Center, and with satellite data from the University of Alabama Huntsville. The Japan Meteorological Agency's global average temperature data for the month of November is shown in this chart. As you can see, the data point for November 2023 is not just higher than for previous Novembers, it's higher by a lot. The JMA found that the monthly anomaly of the global average surface temperature in November of 2023, that is the average of the near surface air temperature over land and the sea surface temperature was 0.76 degrees above the 1991 to 2020 average and 1.3 degrees centigrade above the 20th century average. The second warmest November in the JMA data set occurred in 2015. That year uh, had a temperature anomaly of 0.4 degrees centigrade above the 1991 to 2020 average. This year's anomaly was nearly 81% larger than the 2015 anomaly. This chart from the Japan Meteorological Agency shows how the average temperature anomalies were distributed over the planet. What it shows is that to a large extent, the overall global surface temperature anomaly is being driven by very warm temperatures in the northern part of the northern hemisphere. This chart is similar to the previous one, but this one shows how the temperature anomalies for boreal autumn of 2023 that is the months of September, October, and November of 2023 are distributed. Again, to a large extent, our very warm autumn has been driven by hot temperatures in the Northern Hemisphere above 30 degrees North latitude. This chart from the University of Maine Climate Reanalyzer shows daily surface air temperatures averaged over the entire surface of the Earth starting in the year 1940 and running up to the present. Looking at the dark black line that shows daily average surface temperatures for 2023, we see that our planet started to run a significant fever starting about the beginning of June this year, and that has continued right up to the present. 2023 clearly is on a path to be the hottest year since the start of the Industrial Revolution, which definitely is not good news. I hope that you have found this video informative. If you have any questions or comments, please post them in the comments section of the video and I will do my best to respond. Also, please take some time to view some of my other climate-related videos. And if you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, please hit the subscribe button. Thanks again for watching.